Welcome to our review of the FX2 hybrid bike from Trek. If you're already a subscriber to our channel or you've watched our videos on the Carrera Crossviews, you'll be glad to know I haven't abandoned my beloved Crossviews. This is still a firm favourite, but I also wanted to have something more lightweight that I could lift easily into the back of my car without always having to use my bike rack. The FX2 is in fact so lightweight that I can take it on the underground during off-peak times and carry it easily up the stairs and it's a doddle to lift over gates. The FX2 is a lightweight aluminium frame weighing in about 12 kilos with mudguards, prop stand and bottle cage. The bike comes in four frame sizes, extra small, small, medium or large and two colours, silver or alpine blue. I chose the medium frame for my height of 5 foot 4 or 162 centimetres. I was fortunate enough to have a friend that had recently purchased an FX2 and she allowed me to test her bike before ordering one for myself. I purchased my FX2 online from a London dealer and it was delivered the following week. The frame and rear wheel were already pre-assembled, leaving us to fit the seat post, front wheels, pedal and fit and adjust the handlebars to suit my best position. The bike arrived in a large sturdy box with ample packaging on the frame, leaving the bike scratch and mark free. The first job was to remove all the packaging so we could set about putting the rest of it together. The handlebars were centred and adjusted, then tightened using a torque wrench to a maximum of 7 Newton meters. This is printed on the stem of the handlebars and is the maximum that they should be tightened. Next, the wheels were carefully fitted. The seat post was next, applying a light film of white lithium grease, but you can use any general purpose bike grease. Again, there's a guide printed on the seat post collar showing how tight this should be adjusted. The next job was to fit the pedals using a spanner, making sure each pedal was fitted to the corresponding left and right side of the bike. Quick check to make sure the gears were functioning correctly by going up and down the gear levers whilst the bike was still on the maintenance stand. That all seems fine. So, here we are, all fully assembled, including a set of SKS mud guards purchased separately online. We like this particular brand as they're lightweight, nice quality, but not hugely expensive, and they're very efficient in the wet. Now to give it its first test ride. Let's see how we got on. There were a few steep hills and a combination of high gears enabled me to climb these with relative ease. 
The gears were very smooth on the flat sections of our ride, it was almost effortless. Of course the lightweight frame helps in regard to the effort needed, and I have to say the position of the handlebars is very comfortable. Not too upright, yet not too far forward, so there were no niggles in my lower back after the ride. The saddle is probably something I will change. It's a bit on the small and firm side and I definitely felt like I'd ridden 20 miles on it. Saddles are of course very much a personal choice and I'll probably go for something a bit wider and more padded, but the saddle that comes with the FX2 is certainly not uncomfortable, it's just not to my choice. As a regular rider on my Carrera Crossfuse e-bike, I am used to a very heavy frame that gives an incredibly sturdy ride. The FX2 is very different and I would say that it has more vibration on off-road sections than I'm used to. This is no doubt due to the fact that it doesn't have front suspension forks and is much more lightweight frame. However, my tyres were inflated to the maximum on this particular ride and I think the vibration would be reduced somewhat if my tyres are not so fully inflated. The weather on our ride was reasonably warm but cloudy and the roads were reasonably dry. The disc brakes on the FX2 were very responsive and gave smooth and even braking, particularly descending the steeper hills and on the muddy sections. I have since ridden the bike in wet conditions and the brakes performed equally as well. I am glad that we fitted good quality mud guards to the bike as my rainy day ride would no doubt have left me somewhat splattered from behind. In conclusion, the Trek FX2 Hybrid is a great lightweight bike at a modest price. The ride is smooth, with great gears and the added benefit of efficient disc brakes that perform well on all terrains. I am very happy with my purchase.